Hello everyone and welcome to ITLS Academy Empowered the Youth. Today in this lecture we will going to study about the evolution of microorganisms and microbiology part 1. So again this is uh, our chapter number 1 of microbiology. So in this chapter we will going to study about how the evolution of microorganism occur, how they have taken place what is the, uh, the you know importance of microbiology that we have already covered in our previous lecture so in this basically we will uh, study about the evolution of my microorganisms so let's get started with the topic and let's understand what are the importance of microorganisms so if we talk about the importance of microorganism but before that what are microorganisms so microorganisms are those living creature that you cannot see with your naked eyes so these microorganisms sometimes they are very useful for human uh, organism uh, human beings whereas sometimes they are very harmful so i am writing the definition of microorganisms so these are small living no i am writing on a blank page you can note it down or you can take simply take an, a screenshot of this what are microscope uh, microorganism a very small living thing things that one that uh, sorry that you can not see with a naked eye right so these are a very small living things that you cannot see with your naked eyes so you need a microscope to visualize uh, it so this is what is microscope so let's understand what are the importance of these uh, microscope the first importance is the most populous and diverse group of organism found everywhere on the planet play an important role in recycling essential elements, source of nutrients and some carry out photosynthesis, benefit society by their production of food, beverages, antibiotics and vitamins, some causes disease in plants and animals as well as in humans. So these microorganisms, they are our most populous. Means if you see a, uh, see any object, let's say table. If you see the table, so on that table there are thousands and thousands of bacteria are there, but you cannot see with your naked eyes. So they have a, a, a tendency to you know to multiply very fast. So their populations are so vast, so diverse. And they have a very diverse group of organisms. Some they are they include bacteria, they include fungi, viruses, right? Algae. Um, so there are different types of uh, uh, groups of organisms. They are found everywhere on the planet. As I've told you, like on table, on chair, on uh, your uh, skin, even on the walls. Uh, what whatever there, there is an uh, on planet everywhere microorganisms are present so they play a very important role if we talk about uh, uh, their benefits so they recycle uh, 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 the essential elements they are uh, sometimes they are the source of nutrients and they carried out photosynthesis 
even they have uh, the, their um, you know beneficial um, uh, uh, to the the society where the production of food and beverages antibiotics and vitamins take place and sometimes when they are harmful so they causes diseases in plants in animals as well as in humans so moving to the next data that is members of microbial world organism and a cellular entities too small to be clearly seen by the unaided eyes means so uh, if we talk about again the definition so these are organisms that you cannot see with your uh, naked eyes but you need a certain types of a microscope to visualize that object uh, that organism some are you know uh, uh, uh some are more than 1 mm uh, uh, some are very microscopic so these organisms are relatively simple in their construction and lack highly differentiated cells and distinct uh, tissues now moving to the next that is if we talk about the table so organisms and biological entities studied by microbiologists can be of two type first is cellular and second is acellular so organisms means uh, these microorganisms are again divided into two that is cellular and second is acellular so the further the cellular and acellular is divided into two categories right so uh, cellular is divided uh, uh, into two uh, uh, basically they includes uh, uh, acha let's talk about what are cellular and what are non cellular okay i am writing here only no need to go on the blank page cellular means they in, they have cell they have cell a cellular means they do not have cell they have cell they do not have cell so they include fungi protists bacteria archae example of a fungi is yeast and mold protists example algae protozoa slime mold bacteria e coli archaea bacteria means methogens then comes the acellular acellular composed of uh, they includes viruses they include viroids viroids and pro, uh, prions so exam uh, viruses are composed of proteins and nucleic acid viroids are composed of rna vi uh, viruses are composed of again rna and prions are uh, composed of protein so we will going to study these in detail so types of microbial cell so uh, one question in every examination this is a 100 marks question what is the difference between prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells explain with the help of a diagram this question students they it is always there in the examination paper what is a prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells so prokaryotic cells lack a true membrane delimited nucleus and it this is not an absolute whereas an eukaryotic cells have a membrane closed nucleus they are more complex morphological and are usually larger than prokaryotic if we compare with the help of the sizes so eukaryotics are larger than prokaryotic cells so they are uh, they lack the true membrane means they uh, they are uh, uh, object are uh, they lack the membrane bond object whereas they have a nucleus that have a membrane enclosed nucleus so uh, if we talk about the classification scheme so there are three domain system based on comparison of uh, uh, ribosomal rna genes and divided microorganisms into Uh, different parts so here microorganisms are divided into three parts the first is bacteria second is archaea and the last is eukarya so bacteria means they are uh, the true bacteria as archaea and the last is eukaryotes if we let's understand these three terms with the help of this diagram if we talk about the bacteria so bacteria they have mitochondria they um, means the if it uh, see there are uh, you know 
other structure they have mitochondria they are they are have there there are different types of bacteria like gram positive bacteria they have cyanobacteria means blue green bacteria then they are chloroplast they contain chlorophyll right they are uh, proteo uh, bacteria again if we talk about uh, the uh, you know archae bacteria so they are methogens are there they are hyper methogen metho uh, thermophiles they have uh, extreme halophiles right and if we talk about the eukarya again they include fungi animals anebi slime mold plants green algae right so they include that so if we talk about the horizontal gene uh, gene transfer occur within a community of early cells where the nucleoplasm grows larger and uh, mitochondrias they what they do they uh, generally degenerates in themselves now moving to the domain of bacteria so if we talk about the domain of bacteria the first uh, one says they are usually a single cell so bacteria are basically a single cell majority have cell wall with a peptidoglycan most uh, lack a membrane bond nucleus they are ambiguous and some live in extreme environment cyanobacteria produces a significant amount of oxygen so they are they are usually uh, a very single cell means that they don't have uh, multiple uh, uh, you know cells so only a single cell uh, is there majority if we talk about uh, their cell wall though they have uh, a peptido uh, peptidoglycan wall so what is peptidoglycan uh, so peptidoglycan in wall is uh, a membrane you can say uh um uh, so basically it uh, peptidoglycan uh, what it is uh, so it is a large uh, you can say a polymer that forms a mesh like or you can say a scan for around the bacterial uh, cytoplasmic membrane so what uh, what does uh, uh, they what the matlab ki basically they are present in the wall so basically they protect or you can say prevent bacteria from lysis okay so peptidoglycan what they do they they prevent bacteria from lysis again lysis means um means lysis means uh, like due to turgor pressure uh, so uh, they protect them again they uh, you know maintain the cell shape of bacteria apart from uh, preventing from uh, lysis they uh, you know maintain the shape of the bacteria second most of the membranes bond and uh, nucleus is there so basically uh, the, this is a domain of bacteria where here it the cyanobacteria what they do they produces the significant amount of oxygen now moving to the uh, next domain that is a archaea domain that is distinguished from bacteria by a unique rna r rna uh, gene sequences they lack the peptidoglycan in a cell wall so uh they do not have peptidoglycan they have a unique membrane uh, lipid instead of the peptidoglycan uh, in the cell wall they have a unique membrane lipids again lipids means protein some have unusual metabolic characteristics and uh, most of them live in a very extreme environment now moving to the next uh, that is protist so they generally are larger than bacteria and uh, archaea bacteria so if we talk about uh, a protist uh, sorry protist include algae right so they are larger than bacteria and larger than archaea bacteria and uh, uh, basically protist uh, include algae they if uh, and we all know that algae uh, in algae there uh, photosynthetic take place means photosynthesis means by which a green plants make their own food they include protozoa they may be motile 
ऑन्टर्स एंड ग्रेजर मीन्स दे कैन ईजली यू नो मूव दे हैव अ स्लाइम मोड दैट इज टू लाइफ साइकिल स्टेज द स्लाइम मोड्स हैव टू लाइफ साइकिल स्टेज देन द लास्ट इज द वॉटर मोड्स डिवेस्केटिंग डिजीजेस इन प्लांट देन कम्स द फंजाई सो इट इन इट इंक्लूड्स ईस्ट दैट आर यूनिसेल्युलर वेर एज दे इंक्लूड अनदर सेगमेंट दैट इज अ मोड एंड दे आर मल्टी सेल्युलर If I'm talk about the unicellular means only one cell is present. Only one cell is present, whereas multicellular means many cells are present. Right. Now coming to the next, that is acellular infectious agent. So acellular infectious agent includes first one is virus. Smallest of all the microbes. requires host cell to replicate replicate means divide replicate means divide again i am writing replicate means divide cause range of diseases some uh, like cancers so viruses they are uh, very smallest of all the microscope very small and uh, you know they need a host means they need someone where they can host a cell where they easily replicate where they divide themselves and viruses divide very fast right and different types of diseases can be caused by viruses some like uh, uh, cancers then viroids and uh, virusoids um and yeah, they again they are infectious agent composed of rna and prions means they are infectious protein so they are all they are a acellular means only one cell is present so in this uh, what we have studied so far let's quickly see we have talked about uh, uh, the importance of microorganism we have seen the uh, member of microbial world how small they are and up to which uh, extent uh, uh, you know they cause diseases uh, again some are very important uh, some are, are very harmful also so basically how organisms and biological entities uh, that are studied by microbiologists are been divided so they are divided into two parts and a student i am again uh, i am just erasing this and you can simply take the, a screenshot of this slide because this slide can be asked in the examination a lot then uh, we have uh, seen the types of microbial cell Uh, again, this slide is again very important because in examination they asked the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. Uh, again, again, student, if you want a complete difference between a prokaryotic and eukaryotic uh, cell, you can leave uh, your uh, um, uh, uh, question in the comment section below. And uh, if I receive any uh, uh, questions related to the difference, I can, I will be providing that. and then uh, we have seen the you know classification scheme where uh, there are three domain system we have studied that is the first is bacteria then archaea and then eukarya and this diagram we have studied again this diagram is very much important then uh, about the domain of bacteria domain of archaea and protist means domain of eukarya so again uh, students uh, this is all about today's lecture if you have uh, any queries related to any slide or if you want me uh, to repeat uh, uh, any slide or if you want uh, me uh, to uh, you know uh, if you want uh, something to be explained again so you can simply leave your queries in the you know comment section below i'll be explaining uh, 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 that query So thank you student for watching please do like share and subscribe this is our helpline number that is 7080833450 and this is our website that is www.itlsacademy.com you can simply visit this website and where you can get uh, a detail of different courses as well as this course so thank you students